Hi, it's Maura Gamble from Our Permaculture Life and the Permaculture Education Institute and welcome back to my Live at Five here in my permaculture garden. So today I'm sitting right on the edge of, of my house garden area um, in amongst my perennial herbs um, underneath my lemon myrtle which I've talked about before and I've got the aloe vera around me and what I'm going to talk about today is this one here. It's a perennial herb that is a, a culinary herb a medicinal herb and also an ornamental herb but I find it really good too as as part of the habitat of the garden I'm not sure if you can see while you're here but I've been watching lots of little bees buzzing around here fantastic plant for attracting bees it's also a fantastic plant for attracting butterflies and birds too particularly the nectar um, the nectar uh, the birds that love nectar so um, actually hummingbirds it's one of their top three plants which is really interesting but um, the nectar on these little flowers here they're kind of like little trumpets uh, is absolutely delicious it's um, so sweet and pineapple-y so this is pineapple sage and pineapple sage both the leaves and the flowers are edible so with the with the leaves you can um, take these and add them into uh, into salads you can just chop them up nice and finely and sprinkle them on salads. You can um, take a bunch of leaves and put them into a tea. So just put them in a cup and pour some boiling, pour some boiling water over and it's a really lovely refreshing tea. And you can blend that with other things. Um, you can blend that with mint or you can um, maybe blend it with a bit of lime. So you can add it into cocktails if you like as well. So it can be a warm drink or a cool drink. And actually just taking a whole bundle of leaves and putting them in with some nice iced water is a really good drink for the kids on a, on a hot day. Uh, so, so the flowers, uh, you can just uh, take the little flowers and uh, eat them fresh as part of a um, tossed in amongst a salad. And the scarlet colour of it just makes the salads look absolutely amazing. And they've got a really lovely, I just like picking them and eating the nectar out of them but you know just you can just eat them straight um, as a garnish on a salad or in a sandwich like I was saying you can also dry the the leaves and make a, a dried tea so this dies back in winter like if it gets a frost it's going to be knocked right back and cut it back and it'll come back fresh again the next year so if you don't get frosts um, it's a good time to actually winter time to trim it back a bit but at the moment it's still flourishing. So before it does die back in, in cooler times, you can harvest the leaves, dry them, but you can also harvest the flowers and dry them. It's a really great sleepy time tea. And actually um, in the um, traditional times, this is originally a plant from kind of Mexico, Guatemala, that kind of area. And it was used originally as a medicinal tea for treating anxiety and depression. So it's actually like a real um, sort of nerve calming tea. So if, you know, if you've got insomnia or just need to have a nice, nice calming tea at the end of the day, this would be one that you would use. So you can collect the flowers and dry them and make a, a tea from that too. Um, it's also a really nice backdrop in your garden um, because of the bright flowers in there. So you can have this as a perennial plant in the back part of your herb garden and then in front of it, you can add other things around and it fills up a, a really nice space too in your herb garden, you know, maybe one and a half meters. Uh, so it gives, a, um, it gives texture and height and color and form. So from a landscaping perspective too, um, adding like a, a, a herb and vegetable garden can be the most magnificently beautiful thing. And so incorporating plants like this from the salvia family, so there's well over 900 varieties of salvia plants, and this is just one, this is Salvia elegans. And um, so I encourage you to incorporate it. It it's, um, grows in temperate um, environments, even in cooler climates you can grow it, but it's, an, it's definitely an annual there. So from temperate to climates like mine, the subtropical, uh, it's a perennial and I've had this in my garden for absolutely years. And to, to propagate it, it's really easy as well. You just, I've just got a bit here that I've found, um, to take a little section where it sort of goes from green to brown and I just, uh, snap that off and uh, so I could actually get a few plants from here so this one I'll, I'll take this bit so I just trim off the bottom leaves like I normally do very simply just pinching them off I always just pinch out the flowers too it's a bit disappointing to do that but I'll take that aside and put that in my salad for lunch now I just planted that like that with the kind of what I call sort of a bit of a heel planted up to about here 
that one will take off really nicely. Um, so from this one little snip that I just took off then, I could probably get maybe 10, 15 plants. So super easy to propagate. Um, not a particularly fussy plant. It grows really well in quite um, dryish soils, it, it, but it likes it well drained. If it's kind of too moist, it'll, it's not going to do too well. But apart from that, just a nice sunny spot and it will thrive. So I hope that's been helpful and, and maybe if you've got a, a, um, a pineapple sage in your garden you might go out and, and use some of those flowers and leaves for all different sorts of things. So thanks for joining me. Um, I'm adding a few links below like usual to some of the, the free resources I've got to help you to get your thriving garden happening and also a four part permaculture series to really look at um, what is permaculture and how to weave it into your life and your livelihood. So I'll catch you again tomorrow uh, live at five. Uh, join me on uh, my Facebook page. And um, also don't forget to take a look at my YouTube channel. I've got well over a hundred films there all about permaculture. Okay, catch you tomorrow, bye.